This is insanity. I want to do a video about the Chris Hansen interview with James Rutherford. Now, James Rutherford is, at the time, he was a sixth grade teacher who was baited by perverted justice to come to this house to fuck a 13-year-old girl. Now, this originally aired back in 2006, and I have to admit that Rutherford is the one TCAP predator that I am most invested in. As fucked up as that is, it's because from the first time I watched this interview, and I've watched it possibly 50 times or more, I felt bad for him. Unlike a lot of TCAP predators, he came across as remorseful and lucid about what he did, about his situation. He seemed to offer up potential explanations of how he ended up here. And I don't think I'm the only one who felt that way because Chris Hansen molly coddles him chris hansen unlike with any other predator from the series seems to have real concern about about making him feel slightly better about his situation it's very bizarre um now my opinion has changed in the past month or so so this is almost a, a come to Jesus type of video for me. So let's get started. Something right now, because he sees me. Come on in. Okay. Rutherford's pulling up in his Corvette. And just like with others, the decoy at the house kind of leads him in now that knock right there is a total douchebag knock that double tap knock what kind of fucking knock is that that's that's a knock of extreme familiarity that's a knock of um a husband knocking on the door knowing that his wife is in there or vice versa that's a Honey, open the door. Come on. I, I don't want to sit out here. Just open the door. It's it's a total asshole knock for this piece of shit to be doing. This is a house he's never been to. This is a house owned by adults. And he's coming up doing that double knock. He's lucky that it was a decoy there because if it was an actual 13-year-old's Family who happened to be there, yeah, he'd be in a world of hurt. Come on in. Deco is like, come on in. Come on in. Disembodied voice. Okay, now he does the the triple knock. The door's open. Just this urgent fucking knock. Where are you? And I agree with other T cappers. The the. Predators who walk in saying, where are you, are fucked in the head to start with. Getting ready, I'll be right there. Where are you? I'll, I'll be right back. Just sit at the bar and I'll be right there. All right, well, I'll be out here. He's nervous. Just take a seat. He doesn't want to come in. Look at his body language. Yeah, he... He's... He's feeling like, oh shit, I'm really doing this. This is the body language of someone um, shoplifting. This is the body language of someone who is committing a crime and scared shitless that they're about to be seen. Fuck you, Rutherford. No, come here. 
dude, this is this is again a sixth grade teacher who's probably used to bossing around girls of the decoy's age. It's fucking sick. Actually, I want you to come here. <laughs> Don't you have a seat right over there? Owned. That's a great walk right there. Yeah, you're done. I love. I've probably replayed that that segment between the time Chris says, "I want you to come here," and then Rutherford says. That's what I thought. And then just the, his whole deflation as he's walking from that door to the infamous bar stool is just – that's the stuff that dreams and legends are made of. That's great. That That's just – that is pure comeuppance and justice right there in my mind. What are you doing here? I just came to hang out really. You came to hang out? Yeah. Hang out. That's the infamous TCAP predator excuse. Just came to hang out. Um, Chris is looking good right here, man. Chris is Chris is dapper. He is he's a gentleman. And you came to hang out with. I had a feeling this was what was going on. Honestly. Yeah, admission right there. He basically said, "I had a feeling this was going on." Well, it's like Tim Isaac. It's like, well, what was going on? I and mean, Chris is a great interviewer. I mean, he's obviously national TV level school of um, interviewing. So he, he wants the, the subject to talk. He wants, he's going to draw out information versus just uh, supplying information. You had a feeling what was going on? Yeah. That this was some sort of setup. A setup. A setup, a setup. for what? <laughs> exactly a setup for what it's it's like the walter babs thing just i'm under arrest you know um just take me out and execute me basically a lot of these predators will just immediately fall on their sword they're so at in some part of their mind they're so racked with guilt they're just ready to prostrate themselves they're, they're ready to self-flagellate at that point i don't know and i'll be honest with you i didn't i didn't come here for anything physical i just was bored i'm going to... that turns out to be a lie that i didn't come here for anything physical um chris expertly draws out the truth from this motherfucker through a divorce i just wanted to get out of the house honestly so you couldn't go to a sports bar to watch a game? Or you I've been doing that all weekend, man. <sighs> Fuck you, James. What Chris is asking is not whether or not you can just go watch a game. That's not the gist of what he's saying. He's saying, could you do any other fucking thing than to come to this house and try to rape a 13-year-old? Anything. Like any fucking possible thing that can cross the mind of an adult male, could you please, for the love of Christ, do that instead? And then James takes it literally, saying like, no, I've been at the sports bar watching games all, all weekend. You're, you're, you're a fucking dick. And so you thought you'd come here to this house? I know it wasn't a good idea from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who did you think you were going to meet here? This is kid I've been talking to. This kid. I know she's a kid. And then I hate the way he casually says, just this kid I've been talking to. So he's just trying to, he's slipping it in there saying like, um, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm totally conscious of um, her situation. And I'm, I'm going to present it in a way that's, that, that possibly puts everyone watching at ease. It's like, I knew this was a kid, but I wasn't going to do a thing. So, yeah, just um, kind of smoothing things over um, in light of what he's about to face. How old? 13, 14. 13. 14. And how 13, old are you? 14. You Too know it's 13, 14, dickhead. Too old. And how old is that? 26. 26. And you? No, 26 is, I mean, it's pretty young. In the grand scheme of things, um, he's not a Robert Lyons. He's not, you know, in his late seventies. 
Um, yeah, but the problem is he's he's on the path to become a Robert Lyons. And um, whether that's curable or not, that's I'm not going to speculate on that. That's a line that Rutherford will use. You thought it was okay to come over here to visit a 13-year-old girl home alone? No, I really didn't. But you're here. I know. I don't know why. What's your name? My name's Jim. Jim what? Do I have to say? I'm going to find out. Am I going to get arrested for this? <laughs> that's, that's not up to me. That w that's really smooth by Chris. Just I'm going to find out. So, yeah, at this point... Chris doesn't know what, how much Jim Rutherford knows about Chris Hansen. So, um, yeah, he's kind of doing the whole, I'm going to present information in a way where the, the, the subject will have to guess whether I'm law enforcement or something else. Are you going to turn me in? Again, that's not up to me. I mean, I really... What do you do for a living, Jim? I'd rather not say. Jim? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Chris Hansen is slick. What do you work for? I'll get to that in a minute. No, I, I'd really like to know. I'm sure I'm on TV or something right now. Why don't you just tell me what you do for a living? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. And what grade do you teach? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. A fucking sixth grade teacher. I know, like, when I grew up um, in elementary school, there were very few male teachers. There was one who I believe was a sixth grade teacher. And as a child, as you're, you know, you're you're growing up from just pure innocence. You're starting elementary school when you're, when you're six years old. So you look at teachers as a surrogate parent and... With most of the teachers um, in that grade range when I was growing up, they were female. And the one male teacher, you know, there was this air of fear among at least myself and I'm sure my classmates were, oh God, like we're so used to, you know, basically a mommy substitute and now there's the potential to be ruled over in class by this random male that you, adult male that you've never even heard of before. I mean, you've heard of, but you've never had any kind of interaction before outside of the safety of your home. So, so that power is something else when it comes to male teachers teaching at that grade level. You teach kids about the same age as the girl you were coming to see. I would never do anything. Fuck you, wouldn't you? Can I go? No, not just yet. Are the police here? Again. Sir, Sir please, please just tell me. I have some more questions for you. There's nothing I can do to keep you here, but I have some more questions for you. So that was interesting. Um, Jim basically said, can I go? And then Chris just, he initially said, no, you can't go. Um, but then as, the con as that thread kind of evolved, Chris corrected himself and said, look, I can't, there's nothing I can do to keep you here. So I think Chris realized by saying no, um, he may have been overstepping his bounds as a TV reporter for a moment. Um, he's right. There's nothing he can do to keep him there. And to imply that um, could be problematic. So he corrected himself. Um, good on you, Chris. Are the police here? I have to talk to you about some of the things that you said on the internet. Okay. You were on your webcam. Showing off in front of this 13-year-old girl. It's really twisted when adults try to show off to, um, to children, basically. There's, there's a really sick dy dynamic there. Um, where an adult who wants to essentially flirt with a child. So um, they, you know, they, they both leverage the fact that they're the adult and they have power over this other being, um, but then also 
presenting themselves in a charismatic way to try to draw that child into their their um, their image, their realm. It's it's fucking gross and disturbing, um, and this guy's a total asshole for having done that. And the conversation you had with this girl it was bad. I know. I know. I don't know why. I need help. You're cute too. Definitely have a pretty face. For jail I know. It was. You definitely have a pretty face. Um. I'm not saying 13 year olds cannot, you, you know, cannot be um, attractive in a purely human development. Like this is a average looking human facial structure for someone of that age. Therefore, what's average is attractive, but You know, the fact that he would look at people of that 13-year-old realm age as as pretty. I mean, we already know that this guy is fucked in the head. So what he means by pretty is equal sexual, sexually attractive to him. Um, but, dude, the, the facial bones are not even developed at that age. The, whatever the... Platelets have not fused, so for you to make that kind of comment towards a child, especially with the tone that you are clearly headed towards, is fucking evil. It's, even in its most innocent, it's, it's premature, and in your state it's fucking evil it was wrong i knew it was wrong i'm sorry i could be your teacher would you flirt with me oh god she says wink at you and stuff he, he okay cute you'd like that i'd be flattered not like that's a bad thing innocent enough yeah he's he's he was fucking blending his profession and his day-to-day -day job with his own students, um, with his sexual fantasies with this decoy. I shouldn't have come. I knew I shouldn't have come. I'm sorry, man. I knew it. I... What school do you teach at, Jeff? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to find out. I'm going to get arrested, I'm sure. How about St. Margaret of York? That's it. Is that right? <laughs> do you coach, Owned. too? Not anymore, apparently. You say, I guess I'd like to kiss you. You say, I, you I know, guess you know I'd kiss you, know you too, then. Look, dude, I know what I said. I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, he's sweating now. My life just ended completely. He's got his own words read back to him. Why did you do it? He's I agitated. What do you mean you don't know? I have no wrong. damn clue. This was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Just end it, man. This is... Where are you most tickled? Just All end over. it. Oh Look, dude, uh -huh, I nice. don't care. I know what I said. You don't need it for your You TV don't care? Order. I know that. No. All right, let me phrase that. Please I sit do. down. No. No, no, no. no. I'd like you to sit down. Please. I know you would. I'll tell you. I mean, here's the... I know what I said. I it gets care. a lot worse than that. Yeah, I know. I know. And I don't want to get into that. If I'm going to be arrested, just please have me arrested. Great set of poses and in this final final pose right here yeah he's he's defeated he he's he's defeated but he's also trying to maintain some semblance of not control but some semblance of okay let me help direct some of this action please let me let me just surrender and at least end my humiliation and torment. Let me have some bit of direction in this whole scenario. <laughs> and Chris is like, fuck you, no, we're, we're going to keep doing this the NBC way. I need help. 
obviously. Do you do this often? No. This is the first time I've ever done this. This is the first time. You know, because I've heard that a lot. I'm sure you have. I'm sure I'm probably the first like guy to do this. Everybody who comes into this house says it's their first time. I'm sure they do. That's a weird pose so, by Rutherford. What were you going to do? With Double this fist on the counter. I wasn't really going to. I mean, I called her earlier and said, I'm not really comfortable with this. I didn't, and she kept saying, come on, come on, I'll just hang out. I didn't want to do anything. But you did get in the car I don't and know drive why. here from The whole damn way, I was thinking, what am I doing? Why am I just not going home? But still, you got out here. I don't know. You knocked on the door and you walked in. I know, and I didn't want to. You're all not like a douchebag. She just said, I'm just going to watch a movie. And I said, well, what the hell? I'll, I'll sit there and watch a movie with her. Want to make out? Sure. Look, dude, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Oh, Chris just busted up the, the line from the chat. Want to make out? And that just... <laughs> Rutherford just had nothing. He just crumbled. I'm going to go. Right now, I totally do it. You want to know why I don't want to let... Honestly, yeah. I am going Give to... Give us your divorce. next My excuse. Wife, Thursday, told me yeah. she was leaving. So now he's doing the divorce excuse. I don't know what spawned this. I mean, I was just in an Ohio chat room, an adult chat room. And adult Cam, adult Kentucky. This was a week or so ago, and she started talking to me. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right for you to have this kind of I know. discussion. And I shouldn't have. I Look, guess... Divorce is tough. Everybody gets that. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna... Nobody's going to make fun of that, right? Chris will know about divorce in the near future. I... Well, I'm okay. It's not good. On top of that, what kills me right now. On top of the fact that I just blew that part of my life, and I don't even know you, I don't know why I'm, I just ruined the rest of my life. I just lost my job as a teacher. I'm probably going to go to jail. I'm not going to survive in jail. For what? For what? For what? I don't know. <laughs> do you, don't, do you have a, a, an issue with the internet? Do you have a compulsion, an addiction? I think I do. I mean, it's not I mean, help me to explain. I don't know. Help me to understand. I've thought about this a lot. For years, maybe I should just stop. Maybe. Right there, he just admitted that he's had these sexual um, urges and compulsions and conversations with perceived underage people on the internet for years. Um, so, slowly, the admissions are coming out. Um, I mean, this is just great interviewing. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it is Chris's skill um, and just knowing how to slowly turn up the heat and roast a guy like Rutherford, but it's brilliant how it plays out. Maybe I should get counseling. Maybe I should get help. And now I said, well, it's not that big a deal. I've never taken it to this step. I don't know if this week has just pushed me over the edge. Look, you're not the first guy to have an issue with the internet and sexually charged conversations. I know. Addictions and compulsions. It's not. I mean, we see it a lot. Instead of me being arrested, is there some way you can help me? Well, I don't know that I can do that. I mean, will you, will you give me some of the information here and tell me what exactly is going on? Do you want to know what's going on? Do you ever watch television? Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Oh, damn, I've seen one of these. You've seen one of these? You know, that's, and that was what, one of the reasons I thought, why am I doing this? This could be a setup. I can. But let me get this straight. You've actually seen our previous programs. And you don't know who I am? I'm Chris fucking Hansen. Now, it's really interesting. Um, a lot of these predators who, who say that they've seen the program don't seem to know a lot about the program. Um, I don't know if this is just an extension of their uh, their image that they want to portray, that they already knew what this was, that they're that they're wise, that they're in the know, that you're not getting one over on me. I'm I, I knew what this was. I knew I was getting railroaded, um, but that doesn't make sense because then you wouldn't have showed up in the first place. But with this guy, he says that he's seen one of these, but you don't recognize Chris fucking Hansen standing in front of you there's not that many people that look or sound like chris hansen especially in this day and age back in 2006 when you had basically network television and you had some extended cable and that was it you didn't have youtube you didn't um you didn't have the 
the modern internet to the extent that you do now. So Chris Hansen was a goddamn star, and you don't recognize him? I'm computer predators. I didn't think I was a predator. I wasn't out. I wasn't coming up here for anything physical. I know I talk. Look, that was like fantasy. Here. That was like I fantasy. I know, but everybody what says that. But what's going to happen if <laughs> I'm not Shout out to Joey's t cap Your girl is. You got all charged up by seeing I know. this I know. gal on the uh, webcam. I don't know why. There's a lot of uh, of funny threads and comments about these boom mic operators. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, this goes on, this, this interview goes on for a while and these boom mic operators are champs, but I mean, that's their, that's their profession. This is, this is fucking NBC news. This is like, this is the pinnacle of, of media entertainment back in the day. So yeah, these guys are probably the top of their game. Could I kiss you anywhere? I'm sorry. That'd be I fun. Man, I know it's point and I'd kiss it. Can I go? Look, there's nothing I can do to keep you here. I'm sure you're going to turn this into the police, right? Well, I'm going to be on that, TV. That, that, that's not up to me. I mean, we're doing a story. You've seen the stories before. Didn't you think after seeing the previous stories? I did. That maybe this is something I shouldn't do? That's why I didn't want to come. I really, deep down, thought this is the stupidest idea. I don't know why I'm... Very common. Um, yeah, very common with the whole excuse of uh, I didn't want to come. I didn't want to be here, Jim Roush. Um, so it's weird. Yeah, there's this dichot dichotomy, this mental split that these guys have where... Now that they're found out, now that they're under the gun, they're taking that part of them that did want to come, that they were desperate to come. They've split that off and cast it aside, saying, no, 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 I didn't want to come. Um, it's, 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 it's very interesting just to see that fracture happening before our very eyes. It's just that whole psychic fracture that whole Jungian shadow idea happening in a split second um, once they're once they're getting crushed like this but you I, really, don't know. I know nobody was twisting your arm you're right you're right you're, 100 you're right. a grown-up yeah I don't feel like one right now I feel like an idiot I mean, I'm just trying to understand how it gets. It would be better way. if you were just an idiot. An idiot would be you even the world's it's better than here, but I don't what you're revealing yourself to be. Either of us getting into trouble. I know. I knew I could get in a lot of trouble for this. I don't know why I'm here. You talk about Stupid. parking around back. I'm so freaking horny. Yeah, I know. You know, if you had me naked, I'd want more, right? Yeah. I would too. Look, man, you don't have to read it. Your TV, everybody that's watching this knows why I'm here. It was stupid. I wasn't really going to do anything. I know, but that's but hard to square with what... It, it was stupid. I wasn't going to do anything. I think it was, it was stupid and I'm stupid. I agree with um, Andrew Burkett in that the whole... The whole... I'm stupid and the reason I'm here is because of stupidity is fucking infuriating to listen to with these sex predators. It's not because you're stupid. It's because you have a sickness in your mind. You have a sexual sickness in your mind. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear that you have perverted fantasies about violating a child in the most lifelong damaging way that you could do short of killing them. That's, that's the truth that we want you to say. We don't want to hear, it's because I'm stupid. It's because of, 
a lack of intelligence. Your IQ level has nothing to do with it. There are plenty of people with room temperature IQ that would not perpetrate the same kind of crimes that you just attempted to try. So don't use the word stupid. Use the truth. Say that you are a sexual deviant, that you're fucked in the head in that way. What you said here, I Jim. I really know. And everybody who comes in says, I really wasn't going to do anything. Stupid note. When, um, when Hanson said Jim right there, and then sometimes when he says Jim, I think of Jim Roush. And if you're going to have this conversation and then come over here and a 13-year-old girl is home alone, I don't know what I'm here for. The other issue. Well, it sounds like what you're here for is well, to have sex with a 13 year old. I wasn't going to have sex with her. I, look, give me a Bible, I swear to God. You know, a lot of people have had religious conversions after walking in here. <laughs> Boom! Oh, sure. that, that Boom! Hansen just. <laughs> Hansen just clowned this fool. Um, yeah, the I'm religious guys are the absolute fucking worst in TCAP and Hanson was just like don't go there um, I've seen too many of those motherfuckers if you bring up the Bible one more time uh, I'm gonna curb stomp you religious of a guy and the other I'll, 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 I'll tell you this I might have kissed her I wouldn't have done anything else might have kissed her all right that's that's a good place to start he's He's fucking horrible. I'll see you guys in the next part.